Hello and welcome to Automate with Amit and in this particular video we are going to see how we can automate canvases, canvas web elements using Selenium and ChatGPT. Okay, so in this particular uh, particular script over here, if you see, <clears throat> I have written one uh, code to log into HRM. Uh, so what I did here, so this is orange HRM ho over here, and uh, here if you see, this is the one graph, right? And this particular graph, I wanted to get the tooltip of this. So since this is a canvas, canvas web element. So you cannot automate uh, or you don't have any other way or any uh, place through which you can get the details of these percentages. Okay, so what different percentage uh, percentage are there? So we don't have that detail available with this place. Okay, so how to get these values from this canvas web element? Okay, so let's see how uh, we can get it. So I'm just going to run this first and then we'll see how we can get it. Okay, so I have uh, executed and this is build has started. Let's see anything. Just let me rerun it. Okay, so it has opened. Okay, it has logged in. and it will go down scroll down okay so see now it has hovered upon this canadian regional hq correct and uh, it will now rotate across the circle right now it is at canadian regional hq now see automatically it has moved to texas texas r d and after this it is going to move to the um light green uh green something dark green okay hq and then after on the blue one okay so it has moved to blue and after that red one and then after it is gonna go on um orange and then Maybe if it again, uh, you know, on uh, yellow. So how basically how to what is the approach to resolve this? What happens in canvas? Basically, what happens in any Selenium code? Basically, uh, if we wanted to click on any particular web element, so Selenium by default clicks at the mid of its web element. OK, whatever element we wanted to click, Selenium is going to click at the center of that particular web element. Okay, so now if you see it has uh, moved to yellow one, uh, sorry, uh, on the orange New York sales office 12. So that's what it happens. But in this case, if we are going to, you know, move uh, the cursor or hover upon the uh, this chart, we uh, it is going to hover upon just on the center because that's the mid of this whole web element. Okay, so we can follow one approach that we can uh, you know we have to what we have to do next is we have to just hover across the across the you know chart so that's what we have to do so this test has passed now let's see what it has given to us in the see now we got all the values like canadian regional hq and all those things so we got all the value across here okay so with this, we can get all the values, all the values of those tool tips. Okay. So now let's see how basically we, uh, what I have done. So here in this script, basically uh, till this point, we are just logging into the orange HRM portal. And after that, we are just, you know, uh, we are at, uh, here, uh, get canvas data. I actually have created one, um, one method. So this is canvas using which we are passing this x path here so this canvas x path here we are passing into this particular method so i'll just show what is that x path all about okay so here if i go and see control c 
so here if i just control f b so this is the x path here so now if you see this is the mid of this so if i hover upon this also then it is going to show uh, this place only so how we can do this here i have written this particular method okay so it is not required as such i'm just going to delete it because it's of no use so here if you see i am using actions class okay actions builder equal new actions and in here i have passed this i web driver instance and after that i have found i have located this particular element so whatever uh, you know that canvas was there i have that canvas available in this element so i have moved to that particular element just to you know be in the view of the whole page okay so till this point i have navigated to this and then after this is the method where i am getting the coordinates of the circle on the circle okay circle why circle basically see i can hover upon this particular element uh, very easily right but it is going to hover upon this place okay so in order to get this value over here if you see if i hover it generates one span over here right and with this span basically i can get the this tool tips value but how to get this how to hover upon uh, like this because we have to hover circularly okay and for that basically i need one method which can give me which can generate me x and y coordinates and eventually i will be using that in uh, my move to element so if i just pass this move to element like this then it is going to hover upon the center of this particular page uh, uh, center of this particular web element but i don't want it to don't want to hover at the center but i want to hover at this place something like this at a radius correct so what i have to use i have to use this move to element offset x and offset offset y so that coordinates basically we need to pass int offset x and in offset y so how to get that particular offset that's where i have used chat gpt to get this method available for me so this is the method basically which is generating uh, x and y coordinates with uh, uh, with a radius so like uh, if i wanted to get give the radius like 2 something so it is going to get all the radius okay and that's what i am passing over here and it is generating the all the um coordinates and it is hovering and eventually i am taking the tooltip text here and eventually printing it okay let's see what is this coordinates on circle get coordinates on circle this is the method so i have given one fixed radius over here maybe we can i can reduce it because it is taking too much of time right now it has taken like uh, 2.5 minutes to execute this um okay so here if you see uh, coordinates angle in degrees basically i wanted to just go from 0 to 360 degree over here and eventually i you know uh, created this pi theta upon 180 degree just to generate angle in radian okay because my i want in radian and after that i just pass that angle in cos and sin functions so in to get the x coordinates i used uh, radius into cos theta and radius into sin theta okay and with that i got the coordinates i am adding into a list and eventually i re re uh, returned this list and that's what i am using over here just x and y coordinates okay so that's how we are going to use it and uh, for that i had used this chat gpt over here if you see i just mentioned that i am trying to automate canvas web element using selenium c sharp and i am using below method so builder dot move to element element x comma y dot perform something like this and i need help to create a method which can generate x and y coordinate in a circular format keeping its radius fixed because i don't want that my radius uh, you know each time my radius changes like uh, something like this um, so i just want to you know hover across this that's it okay and then 
I just wanted to. So it has generated some some values over here. It has shows uh, shown that x equal to r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta. That's what we can get it, and that's how we can generate it. So it has generated some values, but eventually it was not serving my purpose. So I had said that in above code, why do we need angle in degrees basically? And I wanted to keep it radius fixed. Basically, it has given me a method which was taking two parameters. So parameters like radius and angle in degrees. I said, okay, I uh, just want this angle in degree to be generated by itself. Like from zero to three sixty degree, I wanted to rotate it, right? So for that purpose, then again it has changed some values, and eventually um, it has given me next method here. Uh, <clears throat> so can you let me know how can I call? So I was not sure that how to call this particular method because it was giving me x and y variables in place of x and y variables. So it has given me this variable also. I'll be sharing this particular uh, this particular chat also and also the code. So in case you want to uh, you know take the uh, code and uh, just wanted to see how to how I have used it, you can check out. And uh, that's how we automate it here. Um, so I have reduced the radius over here. Just uh, let's see how much time now it is taking. Uh, here I have reduced the radius to two only, so that my execution can go faster. Okay. One more thing uh, that this particular you know test works in headless mode also so it is not mandatory that we you know always execute in uh, in uh, active mode or like uh, in browser um, uh, when browser is active or something so it completely it perfectly works in headless mode as well so here it has started the build so let's see if uh, it opens the browser and eventually it Okay, so okay, any issue has happened. Uh, let's rerun this. So it has restarted the browser, and uh, it will navigate to the bottom, and then. Anyways, it has passed. But let's see if uh, it has given me the values. No. Okay, so let me rerun this for uh, again. So I have executed it for the first time, right? Uh, at the start of video itself. So maybe you know you can get it, get how we can work with this. Uh, okay, so it has again launched, and then it is going to go on that particular web element, and now it is gonna. Okay, maybe you know I have uh, maybe because I have reduced the radius, and uh, that radius is not enough to get the values. So instead of two, so. Six is here, so maybe you know uh, that's what we uh, we can play with. But uh, that's how we can automate this canvas here. So in case you have any issue, any question, you can comment. Uh, if you like this particular video, just like and uh, this uh, uh, like this channel and subscribe and uh, share to your friends because this is very very important question. Uh, even uh, you cannot find uh, many videos on YouTube or any any resources. Uh, which which helps us to you know automate canvases. So there are other ways. So uh, using third-party tool like Apply Tools or something. But with purely Selenium, there are no videos as such. Uh, who can tell that uh, this can how to automate this canvas? So this this canvas over here, it is altogether different canvas. It's not uh, uh, what really uh, like chart wala canvas. Okay. So fine. I hope uh, this was useful and uh, press the bell icon, subscribe, comment. Thank you.
see you in next time